All right, so today we're here in Loita with Joseph. Joseph mm -hmm. Koye. Joseph Koye. Uh -huh. And we're so pleased to be with you. Tell us about how this community has benefited from your work and Jess's work, Our work and with FIX. Um, I was born in Hills and Loita Hills, this beautiful landscape that you can see. And I was born like 100, 500 meters from here. You have six, four boys and two girls, and I was the only lucky one who went to school. And when I Why were you so lucky? Uh, actually, I went to school in 1986 when the government of Kenya, the second president of Kenya, Moi, commanded that every ethnic group that uh, source their culture is their time to send one kid to school. And uh, in Maasai tradition, the firstborn sons, the lastborn sons are so close Friends. to them. And I was right there in the middle, and my father said, this is the right yes. first school. And I was among the lucky within my age group. We were circumcised about 15,000 of us in yeah. one to make an age group. And when we met the age group, we have about 2,000 population around Il Mochok area where I was born. I was the only lucky person in my age group who was able to go to high school. Actually, I scored the best grade in 1995, where I finished a small school, school, 16 kilometers from my home. And uh, when I finished my high school, I, I decided to go and look for a job in the Masai Mara. And uh, it have been my daily wish that one day the community can be enlightened, get a school, and send kids to school like the wonderful kids that we have around our school today. We met with Jess in a beautiful camp. call, Masai Mara, Olonana camp, and actually, she didn't come for a safari that time. She was coming to look for a kid, Justin, who had a heart problem that she, she met him in Kenyatta Hospital. Lucky enough, uh, at our board in the camp, I was allocated her. So okay. difficult for us to get this little boy in the middle of the most populated uh, county called Kisi. It looks like you see all this old grass you see in Loira, that is how the people population is in Kisi. Took so us some time and we talked, we talked in 2007, in 2008, and we ended up coming with a proposal of starting a beautiful school in Loira Hills. So things worked so quickly and 2009, November, December, we built our first class and we opened it in 10th of January. And uh, the population of the kids went up quickly knew the benefit of sending kids to school. Me as a good example, bringing positive things into my parents, into my brothers, into my community. And now everybody wants to send their kid to school. Before the end of 2000, and we had the second class. The beginning of 2011, we had full class. And in total, we are now approaching over 200 kids in our school. With uh, several organizations coming in and helping us, uh, Dr. Patel was the first doctor that who came and uh, the funny thing was the machine everybody still remember of of uh, it was putting a pressure. pressure machine and it was going up like this and uh, I was a man first patient that uh, my pressure was up but I'm not sick and they still talk up today how on earth a machine can be put on your arm and not the heart rate. So we, we, we appreciate every single person coming and helping this community and on behalf of the elders, the ladies who have really dearly helped us with the learning center. We so are, we, we feel privileged and we feel blessed and with warm hands we always welcome them a million times. And uh, for Patel we need you to come back at least for two days or for a week in this community, including the old heart problem that you send the medicine they will always talk about. Fusion of Loira Hills Academy together with the SOIT is that I'm seeing in another five years to ten years this will be a role model not only for Loita, not only for Narok South, not only for Narok District, maybe the South Rift of the Rift Valley will be a role model. And we have seen this from the recommendation from the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Water is also coming in because we are hoping to get a borehole and uh, immediately we get a borehole, everything will change. We'll have maybe a nice, better clinic, even a surgeon or a, a maternity or even a boarding school 
And that is the next step that we are looking forward for this community to get a borehole nearby.